What's going on guys, it's Hi with the Upper Left USA and today I'm out exploring Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And you can't visit this city without visiting the famous Puerto Vallarta sign. The goal for today is street photography because obviously I'm in the middle of a populated city so street photography is plentiful. That being said, I am having a very hard time finding any compositions that I'm happy with. Now it's not that there isn't compositions and good photos to be taken, it's just that I'm personally having one of those days where I'm, I'm completely out of it. I'm not really in the mood to take pictures, I'm not really finding anything good, I'm not really getting anything that I'm happy with so it's just one of those days. So far, I've visited the famous Puerto Vallarta sign along the beach and the parish of Our Lady Guadalupe. The parish was actually one of those places that was pretty photogenic. There was a lot of things to take pictures of, but like I said, I was just not having it. Today is not really my day. However, when I got outside, there was a couple kind of just perched out on one of the benches in front of the church, and they were just being really handsy and really lovey-dovey and all that, so I took the opportunity to take some pictures with them. Now this was a little bit awkward because I'm using a 16 to 35 millimeter, so obviously it's pretty wide so I can get pretty close to them or I have to get pretty close to them to really get them even in the scene. So this was a little bit awkward because I'm about 10 feet away from them taking pictures with them without being super obvious. Now if you want a tip for this, when I do street photography, I tend to pretend like the people aren't even there. Although I'm trying to take a picture of this couple, I keep moving the body and my lens up and down as if I'm pointing towards the sky or towards the parish behind them. But realistically, because I'm using a wide angle lens, I can capture a lot in the scene. And like I said, I'm just pretending like I'm taking a picture of the parish rather than the people. And if you want a street photography tip, that was a really good one because that is one that really comes in handy and will really pay off if you use it correctly. But right now, I'm just going to continue and walk around the city and see what it has in store. Alright, change of plan. I had to hide out in a Starbucks because it's starting to rain a bit and I didn't really bring my rain cover or anything for this particular setup so I'm just a little bit worried. I actually came to Puerto Vallarta at a pretty bad time because according to my weather app, it's pretty much raining every day, thunderstorms every day, 60, 70, 80% chance of rain so not exactly the best conditions for street photography. I mean I can't really complain because I'm in a new country getting to try new things, try new food, see new sights, so living a good life. No complaints here.
So after a couple of hours of walking around in the city and trying to dodge the rain, I've come back to my hotel room. I'm sitting on my balcony and I want to talk to you guys about some of the things I forgot to mention while I was out taking photos. First of all, if you didn't notice, I was actually using two different cameras while I was out shooting. The first one is a Sony a7R II with a Sony 16-35mm f4 lens, which is currently recording me right now. This camera and lens combination was used to take all color photos that you saw in this video. All black and white photos were taken with the Nikon N2020 with the Nikon 50mm f1.8D and Kodak T-Max 400. So over the years, I've noticed a few different things about my photography style and the way that I approach photography. First of all, I am really bad at taking black and white photos. It's not that I don't understand what it takes to make a good black and white photos. Like it's certain things when you look at it, it's, it's going to be in black and white. Certain textures and lighting, it's going to be in black and white. It, you just know that it looks better in black and white. But whenever I shoot with a digital camera, I think in color. Unless it's one of those really obvious black and white shots, everything that I shoot is going to be in color when I shoot with digital. And if you look at my work, it pretty much represents that. On the other hand, when I shoot film, because I can force myself to only shoot in black and white with a black and white film stock, I generally like to shoot in black and white when I shoot with film. This can be a good and a bad thing because obviously, not everything looks good in black and white. Just because you can shoot everything in black and white, you doesn't mean that you have to shoot everything in black and white. But of course, if you load a black and white film stock into your camera, you're shooting black and white no matter what. And that kind of presented a problem for me today because the first part of my trip while I was walking around on the boardwalk at the church, I was shooting digital, so it was, everything was in color. Then when I got to the Los Muertos Pier and the beach, everything was black and white because I switched over to film. Now in both situations, when I was on the boardwalk, when I was at the church, I, there were situations where I wanted to shoot black and white, but I was just too lazy to switch out cameras. And then when I was at the Los Muertos Pier and Beach, it was a very colorful scene, so it would have been very well suited for color photography. And again, vice versa, I didn't want to switch over to digital. That being said, photography is sort of a in-the-moment endeavor, or at least if you want to do street photography where you don't fake shots or anything like that, where you're just doing actual street photography, taking pictures of people in the moment. There's no way of replicating a moment that already has passed. With that in mind, I'm really just happy with being able to take a picture at all at some of these locations. Another thing that I've noticed about my personal photography is that I have a very different personality and a very different approach to photography when I shoot film versus digital. If you notice at the beginning of this video, I was mentioning that I had a hard time finding compositions, finding inspirations, and just wasn't having a lot of fun doing photography when I was shooting digital. Now when I say that, I don't mean that I don't have fun shooting digital. I meant that I didn't have fun shooting digital for street photography and that's what I've noticed about myself over the years. I just don't like using digital for street photography. When I'm using a film camera this completely changes and I know that this is completely a mental thing because the camera is just a tool for the photographer. It really doesn't do anything without the person behind the camera. But that being said, Mental or not, using a film camera just completely changes the game for me when I'm taking street photography. Even when I saw those compositions that were really colorful and I wish that I had a digital camera to capture the wide range of colors, I just don't know if I would have saw the situation the same way as I would have if I were using my film camera. Now you may be thinking that I could have just shot color film, but like I said, I like to shoot black and white when I shoot film. so. It would have been the same as shooting digital to me. So for me, shooting film and shooting digital both has its time and its moment and both works in different scenarios for my personal photography. I'm completely happy with what I was able to get today and really I wouldn't change a thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my adventure out in Puerto Vallarta today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content to come. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.